Number 10, FGCU Athletics named National Runner-Up for Sustainability Award. For the second time in three years, FGCU was named a runner-up for a national award. In 2017, it was for the inaugural NACTA and Fiesta Bowl Community Service Award. In 2019, the Eagles received similar recognition from NACTA in the Sustainability Award in relation to the recent Alico Arena expansion with the Leicester Athletics Administrative Complex. The significant enhancements added new basketball coaches and development offices, a state-of-the-art theater, and the Hartley Academic Resource Center, as well as expanded the Shriner Family Sports Medicine Center. The project incorporated several sustainability initiatives, such as utilizing all LED lighting, maximizing daylight views, and insulation on the building envelope beyond code regulations. Additionally, FGCU now utilizes daylight harvesting in its lighting system, where any of the spaces with windows have sensors that monitor light levels and automatically dim the lights as the daylight levels increase. Likewise, sunshade devices were added to the southern facing windows to reduce the solar heat gain. Number nine, another 7,000 hours of community service to Southwest Florida. One of the founding principles of FGCU is giving back to our community, and the Eagles continued to make volunteerism and community service a way of life in 2019. FGCU compiled another collective 7,000 plus hours of community service to the greater Southwest Florida area. All 15 FGCU teams and staff again contributed to returning in kind to the region that has so consistently backed the green and blue since its inception. Number eight, continued record academic excellence. In the spring of 2019, FGCU student athletes posted a cumulative 3.32 grade point average compared with 3.01 for the overall undergraduate population. This was the 20th consecutive semester the Eagles produced a higher GPA than that of the overall student population. FGCU had several individual standouts, including three women's soccer academic All-Americans and seniors Opal Curlis, Lindsay Patton, and Evie Papadinova. Their former teammate Holly Fritz was named the A-Sun Female Scholar Athlete of the Year, while Julia Escua was selected the ASUN Women's Tennis Scholar Athlete of the Year, and softball's Riley Randolph was chosen to the Senior Class Second Team All American list. The Green and Blue also produced a program, an ASUN highest 94% in the recently released NCAA graduation success rate. Finally, for the second straight year, FGCU had an ASUN and State of Florida Division I finest with a best ever seven teams earning the NCAA's annual National Public Recognition Award for superior performance for one's academic progress rate. Those teams were men's tennis, women's basketball, cross country, golf, tennis, beach, and indoor volleyball. Number seven, Night at the Nest once again produces record results. The 10th annual Night at the Nest Gala was yet another sellout on December 6th and netted more than half a million dollars for the fifth straight year. Designed to raise external resources for FGCU Athletics and to show appreciation for our Eagles donors, the event generated a record $625,000. A special addition to this year's gala was the guest appearance and historic gift presentation of a million dollars by Eagle icon and seven-time MLB All-Star Chris Sale and his FGCU alum spouse, Brianne. Night at the Nest was a sellout with 800 attendees inside Alico Arena, featured hundreds of marquee auction items, and additionally, generous supporters also supported the silent auction remotely from around the nation, contributing to the overall green and blue friend and fundraising event. Night at the Nest has netted $4 million in valuable resources since its inception towards scholarships and other student athlete enhancements. Number six, A-Sun Hall of Fame nets another eagle. Carmen Paez Jimenez became the third eagle to be enshrined into the A-Sun Hall of Fame, whose ceremonies were held this year on the FGCU campus in October. She joined previous honorees Chris Sale from the inaugural class of 2015 and Brooke Youngquist Sweat from the class of 2018. A retired National Pro Fast Pitch League member with the New England Riptide, Jimenez was amongst the most decorated players in both FGCU and ASUN annals. 
the 2007 Division II National Player of the Year and the 2008 ASUN Player of the Year, despite only playing two years in the green and blue, her phenomenal 430 batting average, 934 slugging percentage remain as all-time eagle marks, and her 50 homers and 148 RBIs are second and fourth best ever. Number five, successful Eagles in the pros. Numerous Eagles continue to succeed in their respective sport's highest professional level. Jake Knoll became the Green and Blue's fourth current major leaguer when he made the opening day roster of the eventual World Series champion Washington Nationals. He joined the trio of former Eagles pitchers who remain in Major League Baseball, led by Red Sox ace Chris Sale, who became the fastest to ever reach 2,000 career strikeouts this year. Jacob Barnes, who made 33 combined relief appearances for the Kansas City Royals and Milwaukee Brewers. And Richard Blyer, who pitched 53 games for the Baltimore Orioles, posting a 3-0 record for the second straight season, and his career mark is now 8-1 with an impressive 3.05 ERA. While fellow Eagle alum and coach to lead assistant Pete Woodworth became FGCU's first ever Major League Baseball coach when he was recently named the Seattle Mariners pitching coach. Beach Volleyball Olympian Brooke Sweat, a four-time AVP Defensive Player of the Year, continued her partnership with three-time Olympic gold medalist Kerry Walsh Jennings. With eyes on qualifying for the upcoming Summer Olympics in Tokyo, the duo recently earned a silver medal at the FIVB World Tour event in China. Brandon Goodwood continues his NBA career with his hometown Atlanta Hawks, while women's soccer alum Julia Rodar earned a bronze medal at the World Cup in France for her native Sweden. Number four, continued green and blue individual successes. Many Eagles continued to shine throughout 2019, led by women's soccer stalwart Evie Papadonova being named a repeat All-American. Also named the ASUN Player of the Year, Evie joins her predecessor, Tabby Tyndall, and Washington Nationals' Jake Knoll as the only three two-time All-Americans in FGCU history. In addition to numerous first team and specialty award honorees, other ASUN Players of the Year throughout the year included women's basketball's Naz UL, volleyball's repeat honoree Courtney Van Lu, as well as CCSA Swimming's Gracie Redding and Diving's Megan Wakefield. Conference tournament MVPs were also earned in women's basketball by Kiri Jewett Giles, for men's tennis by Marcelo Tibet, while swimming witnessed Redding repeat her most outstanding accolades at the CCSA Championships where teammate Wakefield also earned the meet's most outstanding diver. ASUN Coach of the Year honors were also bestowed upon five Eagle mentors. In baseball, Dave Tillette for the fifth time. In women's basketball, Carl Somesco earned his ninth award. Women's soccer's Jim Blankenship his fifth. Men's tennis, C.J. Weber his third. And volleyball's Matt Botsford was chosen for the second consecutive year three, continued successes over Power 5 and nationally ranked programs. As has been the case dating back to their D2 days, when baseball knocked off Notre Dame, the Eagles continued to be more than an even match when competing against Power 5 and nationally ranked opponents. In 2019, such positive results included baseball once again beating fifth-ranked Florida in Gainesville, men's soccer tying host number seven Michigan State, and then winning at 13th-ranked Michigan, and also defeating number 17 Charlotte. Softball took out number 15 Indiana, as well as number 21 Minnesota, and most recently, women's basketball knocked off defending NCAA runner-up Notre Dame and 20th-ranked South Florida in Cancun. The FGCU women continued their role by beating Duke on December 29th at Alico Arena. Baseball also beat Rutgers, softball beat Penn State, men's cross country beat Mississippi State, volleyball took out Auburn and Miami, and women's cross country also again defeated the Kings. Number two, women's basketball dances again. The green and blue achieved their fifth undefeated ASUN regular season in eight years, as well as their ninth consecutive season with at least 25 victories. Along the way, to posting a 28-5 overall record. They are the only mid-major program to have accomplished such and are joined only by national powers, UConn, Baylor, and Notre Dame. 
They again won both the Ace on regular season and tournament championships and extended their own NCAA record with their 12th straight postseason appearance since becoming Division I eligible. In their sixth NCAA tournament of the past eight seasons, FGCU led host and fourth seed Miami early in the fourth quarter before dropping a tight decision. The Eagles also continued to live up to their reigning threes moniker as one year after recapturing their placement as the NCAA single season record holders for made three pointers, they finished second in the nation with an average of 11 made threes a game. Number one. FGCU Athletics continued overall success. Amidst generating numerous individual honors and records on the strength of runner-up placements for both the men's and women's races, FGCU finished in the top two for the overall ASUN All Sports Trophy for a sixth straight year. The combined winners for three of the past five seasons, the green and blue added seven more pieces of hardware to the already crowded Alico Arena display. Programs that won at least one conference title in the past calendar year were baseball, women's basketball, women's soccer, men's tennis, and volleyball. Furthermore, women's basketball and men's tennis also again competed in their respective NCAA championships. Overall, baseball won their A-Sun best fifth regular season crown in 12 years. Women's basketball swept both titles to raise their championships to 15 over 11 years. Women's soccer won a share of their ninth regular season first place finish in 10 seasons. Men's tennis had their own ace on sweep to grow to six trophies over the last five years, while volleyball wrapped up 2019 defending their ace on championship for their fifth regular season title. FGCU now has an incredible 80 collective conference championships in just over 12 years at the Division I level. The Eagles have also earned 36 NCAA appearances in only eight plus seasons of being fully eligible to do so.